Welcome back and in our top business story, the Emirates Institution for Advanced Sciences and Technology has announced that construction work on their satellite facility is on schedule and will be completed in the next few months. According to the Institute, the facility, which will be the first phase of bigger developments dedicated to the manufacture of satellites, will consist of an electrical laboratory as well as a mechanical lab. The institute was established by the Dubai government in 2006, which focused on outer space research and development, satellite manufacturing and systems development, space imaging and ground station services and support for other satellites. Among the notable achievements of the Institute include the launch of Dubai Sat 1 and Dubai Sat 2 into space, in addition to the launch of the Khalifa Sat project. According to the Director General of the Institute, the building of the facility is a real experiment and a big challenge for their ability to develop high level infrastructure for space sciences and to develop local human resources, as well as enhancing their technical innovation. The Dubai financial market has announced that the value of shares bought by foreign investors or non-UA nationals from the 17th to the 21st of August 2014 reached about 1.137 billion dirhams. Additionally, the value of stocks they sold stood at 1.082 billion dirhams, with net foreign investment on the market reaching 55.1 million dirhams for the period as aggregate buy. The value of shares bought by foreigner investors made up 45.7% of the total value of stocks traded during the last five days. While value of stocks sold by foreign investors during the same period represented 43.5% of stocks traded. The value of stocks bought by institu institutional investors during the week reached 732.1 million dirhams, comprising 29.5% of the total value of stocks traded. The value of stocks sold by institutional investors during the period reached 605.7 million dirhams, representing 24.4%. A new study by Infocom International has revealed that the Middle Eastern audio-visual market is estimated to reach 4.63 billion US dollars by 2016. According to the Infocom 2014 Global AV Market Definition and Strategy Study, the sector is set to post an annual growth rate of 13% over the coming years. Identifying the UAE as the fastest growing and second largest market in the Middle East, the study predicts the market to grow from 700 million US dollars in 2012 to 1.24 billion in 2016. The study reveals that the growth in the region is largely due to strong investment, a young online population, as well as the Infocom MEA trade exhibition that takes place in Dubai during the Jitex Technology Week. The report stated that in Dubai, World Expo 2020 related developments are driving demand for audiovisual solutions, especially in, enter in entertainment, venues and events. The government's spending on large scale projects such as railway and seaports is also expected to contribute towards the estimated growth. Nearly two thirds of companies in the UAE are willing to hire new employees from abroad. That's according to a new survey by Bait.com. 208 firms responded to the survey, where 35% said that those already living in the UAE was a highly sought after attribute. The survey also showed that knowing both Arabic and English is a major asset in the Gulf including 60% of UAE employers listing it as a highly sought after attribute, making language the most important factor. Other most sought after attributes listed by surveyed employers included being a team player, having a good leadership skills, the ability to work under pressure, good negotiation skills and being trustworthy.